There are a few image editing options that you can take advantage of now as well, whether it's an embedded image in the text app or a standalone image app or an image gallery. No matter where the image is, you can usually just click the image and that'll pull up the image editing options. So the first option is to replace the image. If you ever need to update it with a new image, you can just click replace and then upload a new image from your computer or from a URL. You can also add an alt tag. So what alt text does is basically tell search engines what the image is about. So this is where you can uh, use keywords um, to describe what that image is about to again let the search engines know. It doesn't show up publicly anywhere on your website. It's more of a search engine optimization tool. So this is where you can put some keywords about that, um, about that image which can be your, your company name, your location, and some kind of uh, description about the image. Feel free to research alt tags a bit more to learn more about how to use those properly. Lastly, you can link an image. So if you need that image to be linked when someone clicks it, you want to have them go to another page within your website or an external URL, meaning a, uh, another site on the web, you can again pick either a page on your site or um, enter a different URL here. And then you pick whether it's going to open the same window or a new window. So you have those image editing options now, and we're adding some other options in addition to these to give you more flexibility for doing things like resizing and cropping. So stay tuned for that.